Hi everyone, so finally there's a good news for you guys. JustPay has just opened their hiring challenge, which is off-campus opportunity and it is open to all. So all of you guys who have been wanting an opportunity to prove yourself to crack a good product-based company, JustPay might be the one that you are waiting for. So in this video, we're going to discuss in grave details everything that you need to crack the JustPay hiring challenge. We're going to talk about the eligibility, we're going to talk about the rounds we're going to talk about how to prepare and i'm going to give you tips as well to make sure that you come out on top in this hiring challenge so first things first if you haven't already please register don't wait till the last moment the registrations are already open many people have registered you don't need anything just go on to the link in the description and you'll find the link to register just click on it and register there's only like 18 19 days left i think so don't waste any more day. All right, so let's begin the video. First of all, the eligibility. So what is the eligibility? First of all, any college is fine. It doesn't matter what college you're from. All BTEC BE graduates who are graduating in the year 2026, it is open for them. So it doesn't matter if you're from a tier one college or from a tier three college, it is equal footing, all right? So if you meet the eligibility criteria, again, I'm reminding you, don't waste any time, register straight away. All right. So how is it going to be? What all is going to be there? Let's discuss about it. And let me give you a fine tuned strategy that you can use to crack it. All right. So the first thing, the first round, the OA basically, or the online assessment sort of is going to be an MCQ. All right. So what is going to be there in the MCQ? First of all, you have to be careful because there's going to be negative marking and there's going to be multiple subjects on which MCQ is going to come. So for MCQ, you'll have multiple categories. You'll have things like aptitude. You'll have things like DSA. You'll have CS fundamentals like operating systems, computer networks, DBMS. And apart from that, you'll have sort of coding problems like predict the output, debugging sort of a thing. So how do you prepare for it? Let's go one by one. Now, the first thing is aptitude. So aptitude is going to be easy. It is not going to be difficult, but do not underestimate it because a lot of people make mistake in aptitude and it ends up bringing your score down. So be very careful with aptitude and how are you going to practice for it? You're going to use indiabix.com. So indiabix.com is pretty much the best website for preparing aptitude and the topics to focus on the majority topics that I have seen that students struggle in are basically quantitative quant basically you know numerical ability those sort of thing and logical reasoning so make sure that you practice a lot of questions from indiabix.com apart from that you can go and test book so there's a site testbook.com where you can give mock rounds you have prep insta as well which also have good quality questions so you can practice from all these three websites and every resource will be in the description box you don't need to make notes so make sure that you practice aptitude well if you give a week or two week of practicing aptitude continuously, then yeah, you're going to be good for aptitude. It's nothing too much. It's nothing of a huge deal, right? All right. Now, the second category that we have is CS fundamentals. Again, don't underestimate it. This is something that you're going to have to practice, especially if you're from a non-CS background, right? So how are you going to practice for it? What is the strategy? Here's what you're going to do. So first of all, as you know, CS fundamental is divided into four subjects. You have OOP, you have CS, CN, computer networks, you have OS, and then you have DBMS. So what you're going to do, you're going to find the important topics from GFG last minute notes. So just search OS Geeks for Geeks last minute notes. You'll find the most important topics from there. What you're going to do, you're going to make notes, just take from GFG last minute notes and then practice from it. Apart from that, one thing that you can do is you can take Code Helps channel. So Lovebubber has a Code Help channel in which he has very well organized CS fundamentals. You can learn from there. And apart from that, for revision, just practice top 50, top 100 interview questions. Just go on Google, search top 100 OS interview questions, and you'll get many questions. Many of them will be MCQ. Just practice from them. And again, before the exam, just practice from the notes you have made or practice from Geeks or Geeks last minute notes. Okay. Now, for DSN coding, it's not going to be much difficult because obviously it is MCQ. So if you have a good basic knowledge in DSA and if you have a good knowledge in the syntax of the language you're in, it's done for, it's game over. It's nothing too hard. Just make sure that you're good at hands-on coding. You're good with the syntax and you're good with basically debugging. 
because you can expect questions like this all right so if you do this much this round is completely over easily crashed now we come to the next round which is one of the most important round and this is the coding round now coding round will have two to three problems you'll be given around 90 minutes to solve them and here it is going to be extremely important because this is where majority of the candidates basically get screened out okay this is where you can differentiate yourself from the other candidates okay so coding round is very important the level of the problems will be around lead code medium to lead code hard or you can say code forces div to b to div to c level it's not going to be easy you can expect at least lead code medium or medium hard problems all right so how are you going to practice for it so if you have a little bit of dsa knowledge already then that's fine you can just go into revision but if you don't have any dsa knowledge then what i'm going to suggest you is go at striver sheet and try to solve easy medium problems as much as you can striver sheet is pretty much the best for clearing any companies you know online round or coding round so try to practice as many problems as you can from striver sheet what are the most important topics the most important topics you have graph you have tree you have arrays you have strings you have greedy so linked list tag and queue are also important but not as much as the previously mentioned topic but graph and trees are extremely important they are pretty much just space favorite topics right because even in the past all of the winners that i've talked to they always got questions either in interview or coding round from graph or trees okay so make sure that you practice graph and trees make sure that you practice array strings some basic algorithms and do striver sheet as much as you can in the remaining time do striver sheet now if you've already done a bit of dsa and now you want to revise so for revision what you can do you can just do just pay tagged problems so i'll give some link in the description from there you can find just just pay tagged questions meaning pyqs what just pay has asked in the past you can practice from them apart from that you can use striver 79 or uh, neat code 75 to basically revise your dsa concepts if you do this much for dsa it is going to be easy it is not going to be too difficult it is around medium hard if you have a good level in dsa you'll be able you'll be able to clear it now one very important part for clearing the coding round is time management because when you're doing lead code you're relaxed you don't have a timer going on but in a contest it's a different scenario you can see the timer running you have test cases that you need to clear so you need to be accustomed to it so make sure that before the coding round you have given at least 5 to 10 contest you don't need to wait for actual contest on lead code or code forces you can give virtual contest okay so try to give contest on code forces i'll suggest give div 2 on code forces or div 3 and try to give lead code contest on lead code try to solve up to two problems and on code forces try to solve the first three problems in div 2 and the first four problems in div 3 so make sure that you're doing time bounded practice to be prepared for the coding round all right now once you're past the mcq round you're past the coding round now comes the main part and what just pay is known for is basically their hackathon round So I was receiving a ton of messages right from people saying that they only have a bare minimum development experience they don't have much knowledge about dev or building projects what do we do for hackathon round right so first of all i have made two extremely good videos about how to win any hackathon i highly suggest that you go and watch that video both of those videos are very good and they will show you the mindset that you need to have for cracking a hackathon but what can you expect in the hackathon round so you'll be given a problem statement and it will be something related to fintech or some financial product or something like that it can be anything else also but this is what generally you can expect you'll have someone guiding you you'll have someone who will be overseeing you and even interviewing you or testing you at times right so it's not that you're building alone so for two days you'll have to build the project and you'll have to like a similar to any other hackathon right you'll get two days you'll have to build the project you'll have to build the product now what do you need to do so first of all you need to have good hands on development experience it is very 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 important so make sure that you know basics of first of all html css javascript this is a must above that you need to know react for front end for back end you can learn something like spring boot or node js So if you have zero knowledge if you have zero experience what i will suggest to you is go on youtube find a crash course or crash video in which they're making a full stack project i'll also give some examples in the description feel free to pick one from the description but see an example video where they're building a product right from scratch sort of in a crash 
sort of a thing right and then learn from it make notes learn about the tech stack that you're using because you cannot blindly use the tech stack they will be asking you why did you use this why not that why did you use react why did you use this database so learn a bit of front end learn a bit of back end learn databases and once you learn everything then make a small mini project okay so this is in preparation to the actual hackathon right make a mini project and try to do everything yourself i would suggest not to copy paste at least for practicing because you know in the hackathon you'll not be able to do that right so learn the basics of development i'll give some resources as well and make a small mini project from there you'll get the idea make notes make proper notes about the tech stack that you're using about you know what can be improved about why you're using what and basically go on from there hackathon round is not going to be too difficult because by that time the competition has decreased a bit so if you're good at development if you're you know decent at development you can easily go through the hackathon round as well now once you go through all of this then you'll be able to see the selection mail and the best part about it is that even in the internship you have a very very good chance of securing a ppo which will give you a package of 27 lpa plus and if you're worried about the interview then i've also made two three just pay interview experiences you can watch that as well they are very very good videos and apart from that what i'm going to advise you is start practicing right now you don't have many many days left start your practice right now divide your time and try to give around 5 to 6 hours every day divide your time into practicing aptitude practicing dsa giving contest you know practicing cs fundamentals and try to manage time very well and before the hackathon before the coding round just do proper revision and you'll be ready for it so start working and don't be worried about the competition i've seen so many students don't register into this because they're worried about the competition they're afraid of you know basically losing out but don't be worried just register start working hard and you have a very good chance of getting shortlisted and even if you don't you'll have some really good experience from this so yeah let's not waste any more time make sure that you register and leave a comment if you have any other doubt and make sure to check the description box out so yeah that's all thanks for watching